Good morning students. Today I am going to teach you standard 7 chemistry. The first chapter in chemistry is matter and its composition. So first we will discuss what matter is. The material that you can see all around you we are called matter. Like now you are watching the video in the mobile phone in your hand. If you observe, you will feel that it has some mass and also occupy space in your hand. If you place the same mobile phone on your table, it also occupies some space on that table. Now, if you take a bottle of water, you can see the water will occupy some space inside the bottle and it has also some mass. Now if you take a balloon and then blow air inside it, you can see the balloon now is filled with air that means the air inside the balloon will occupy some space. Here the mobile phone in your hand, the water in the bottle and the balloon all has some mass and also occupy some space. But all these three are found in three different varieties, three different forms. So here comes the concept of solid, liquid and gases. You have already studied that all these three states of matter, solid, liquid and gases are made up of smallest particle called atoms and when atoms combine it will form molecules. Atoms of the same type when combined it will form atoms of molecules of an element and when atoms of two or more different types combine it will form molecules of a compound. Now let us discuss about what it is made up of. As I said that when atoms combine it will form molecules. So we will study about the arrangement of molecules in the three different states solids, liquids and gases. In solids the molecules are very closely packed. The molecules are very closely packed. They are very close to each other. The Intramolecular force of the molecules between the molecules is very strong. They attract each other with a very strong force. And as you can see, the space between the molecules is very less. Compared to solid in liquids, the number of molecules are very less and they are very loosely packed. And the molecules can also move as they are getting space between them. So intermolecular space is more compared to solid in liquids. But the force of attraction that is intermolecular force is less compared to solid. Come to gas where the number of molecules are least. Molecules are very far apart from each other. The intramolecular force of attraction between the molecules is very less and the space between the molecules is the most. So the intramolecular space is the most in gases compared to solids and liquids. In our next video we will discuss about the question answers regarding matter and its composition.